In this video, we're going to look at how to solve for um, a sample mean value for a sampling distribution, where we're given the area or the probability and we need to work backwards and go solve for the sample mean. Okay, so what we do know from before as well is that we sample 64 individuals, so that gives us our sample size of 64. This is the same as the previous example in my previous video. Um, also, we know that we spend an average of 180 hours in that sample. So that's our sample average, and we're going to say that that's equivalent to the mean of our sampling distribution as well. This is because our sample size of 64 should be large enough for the central limit theorem to hold true. Again, see my previous videos for more explanations on that and the link to the open ed textbook um, in the description of this video to explain a lot more about the central limit theorem and sampling. Okay, now back to standard deviations. So again, the standard deviation for the hours online here is 90. Uh, and what we need to get, because we're doing stats on the sample means, we need to take that 90 and divide by the square root of the sample size, which is in C10 here. It's just hiding, but that's actually that 64. So we get a standard error of 11.25. Okay, now we want the minimum cutoff here to be considered in the top 5%. So I'm going to say that my upper area is 5%. And then um, I can never plug that directly into um, any Excel formulas. Excel always works with the area to the left or the lower area. So I'm going to do a 1 minus that number. And that gives me 95. So in this region here, I have 95% of the data. Beautiful. Okay, so now to get the sample mean value, and this is really just like a normal distribution problem and an inverse one, if you will, because we have the area and we want to work backward to get the x value, or in this case, the x bar value. So to do one of these inverse problems, we're going to use norm.inv. And the probability is always that left side probability or the area to the left. And then we put in the mean of 180. And for the standard deviation, we put in the 11.25. Again, for sampling distributions, we use the standard error. That is the standard deviation for the sample means, which will be less spread out than the original data. Okay. And that gives us 198.50, or if you will, the um, minimum hours to be in the top 5% is 198.5 hours. Beautiful. Okay, and that concludes this video. Again, um, check in the link in the description here for the, um, this file and the link to the open ed textbook for more information here uh, on this topic. Thanks for watching.